All right, come here. Tell me what's wrong with this. Tell you what's wrong with this. What's wrong? Oh, are you going to sit in the toilet? <laughs> come over here. What's... What irritates you here? I, 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 something really ir irritates me. How, 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 how this bathroom's laid out. And not okay, not hold the on. giant toilet, not the giant tub, but the positioning of something. I don't know. You've, you've stumped me. What? <laughs> okay. First of all, when you open a door, you want to be able to flip a switch, right? And where would the switch be when you walk into this bathroom? Just before you find out what's really bugging Taco, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG game that I know you guys must have heard of by now, and it's for good reason. More than 15 million players worldwide have already downloaded this in the last six months. If you guys are wondering what this is, Raid is an epic dark fantasy done right, a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, and it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Awards. Look at that shiny badge. You go, Raid. Remember those champions that I was talking about before? Well, Raid is adding more than 16 new champions every month, so there's always new strategies and new warriors to play with. Something that I'm personally a big fan of is progression rewards, which are basically a fun and easy way to get extra rewards just for playing the game. And the simple fact that once you complete these missions, you will get one of the best legendary champions in the entire game. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems like a pretty sweet deal. You guys get one of the best legendary champions in the game just for playing. And if you're wondering if I play the game myself, well, this is me actually playing the game right now with three of my champions. The guy in the middle is called Gallic, but I've nicknamed him Bruce because he smashes everything. Look at him. He can summon volcanic magma explore over 1 million champion builds. 1 million. Enjoy a fully voiced story campaign and raid with your friends in a clan. And the best part of all this, it's completely free to play. Now, raid actually have huge plans for updates in the game over the next six months. A new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss you'll be able to fight with your clan mates. So there is infinite content for you guys to enjoy and no time to get bored. Oh, did I mention as well that Raid has over 500,000 reviews on the App Store with almost a perfect five-star rating. So what are you waiting for? Go to the special links in the description and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Oh, should behind the door? Okay. So it yeah, should have been here, shouldn't it? On the it left. It should have been yeah, here yeah. on the left, yes. And then, secondly, this tile does not match up up here in this corner. They, Wait, they, what? Shorted, they shorted us one cap tile. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can't unsee that now. Why have you said uh, that? And it's at the worst spot. So if you're on the toilet, you're going to be staring at that all the time. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. And then finally, I'm going to make sure this stays in the video so everybody at home <laughs> remembers you saying that. Look at that, everyone. Ta Taco's done that to you. You're never, ever not going to be able to see that anymore. <laughs> So, if that's the hill there on the left, I think it should be... Let's go off-road. Let's go this way. Okay. Let's crush all the potato fields. Right. Oh, God. Oh, this is a bad idea, Taco. <laughs> Why did you tell us to do this? <laughs> you... It's kind of good that they did so... that, that it, it throws you around a little bit so it keeps people off the fields, right? <laughs> oh, God. Not us idiots, though. We're staying on the field. Can we actually get through? The... Oh, we can. Yeah, let's crush the sunflowers. <laughs> Let's just be a pair of destructive assholes. <laughs> oh! Okay, they're not destructive. You just hide in them. Oh, I just drive through them. Uh, that's too bad. You better hope that there are no animals just stay in these fields. You know? Just gonna head this way. And then maybe it's the top of that hill. Basically, what I'm trying to find is that quarry looking place. Do you remember it? Oh, the the marble quarry. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool, and I want, I want to see if we can drive off it. <laughs> Because <laughs> why not? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. You know those rare Pokemon that you can get, Taco? Yeah. I think I've just found one. In the form of a, a Mouflon. Yeah, there's a... Uh, it's either that or Santa's 
switched out the reindeer this year for a mouflon. Oh, yep, he heard me speaking about him. He's gone. All right, I'll pretend it didn't happen. Was it flying? <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, there's a lookout there. See it? The genuine lookout, oh, like, yep. hanging off the edge. Maybe it is the top of the, uh, the actual quarry that we're looking for. <laughs> I oh, think it is. Uh, animal there too, running towards yeah, it. I can see. Can you not see all the footprint? I'm gonna run it over. Ugh. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> what is this crap? Oh, this what's my, my character friend. doing? Get out of here! <sighs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> Where's this respawn me in now? Next DLC. I want the devs to add. I don't want horseback, I don't want dogs, I don't want an Australia map. All I want is the ATVs to have turrets on them. <laughs> Mini guns. <laughs> so anything gets in my way when I'm on an ATV, I just flick a button and then the, it lights everything up. Like Blaine from Predator. If you know, you know. I'm gonna ram it off the edge, is what you said. And then all I see is you go flying backwards. I just stop trying to expose me. Why are you trying to expose me all the time? I never said this. <laughs> How did you get... <gasps> I've got to say... Oh, I can see you running in. I really do like the music. I really, really do like it. Mm -hmm. That it's old so school feel... Really, really nice. Right, so, for those that haven't seen this, by the way, for everybody watching the video, this, I believe, I don't know the name of the way this is mined, but it's actually really, really cool. Anyone that's, like, into, like, sciencey stuff or mechanical stuff, Google what this is, like, this type of quarry, because it's fascinating how they're made. I'd never seen one of these before until, like, a year or two ago, because it, it likes, looks like a pyramid, doesn't it? <gasps> Pyramids. Egypt map. Would that be good? What uh, what would we hunt around Egypt? I don't know. What's mummies. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You know me. Evil undead mummies. It sounds really right, good. Right, so we got we got to do this for science, okay? So what we got to do? We can either I'm going to give you two choices, Taco. Okay, we can either get the ATVs and ride them straight off and see if we can land it. Okay, then we have infinite cool factor for the rest of our lives, or we can try and scale this down. Uh, I'd say let's infinite cool factor. Let's go for that. Okay, I'm with you. Let's do it. So where are we gonna ride off at? That's the question. Okay, just just stay there. Watch this. You gotta stay there and watch. Okay, I'm watching. I'm a seasoned Coming veteran. Up. Okay. I'm coming. I'm free. Oh my god. I landed it! <laughs> Paco, I legit landed it! Nice. Alright, hold on. Hold on. You got infinite cool. Oh my god! You ready for me? I don't even want to talk right now. What happened? How did you... There was another there? drop, Taco. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought my, <laughs> thought my expertise would carry me over that one too. Turns out, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes life just kicks you in the testicles really hard. <laughs> right, I'm coming. I really just want a mod for this game where we can just give the ATVs like a thousand horsepower. Right. Just zip through. Oh, it'd be, oh, it'd be so good. Right, I'm going to stand on this rock. So you're aiming for the... You want to keep yourself. Aim for me here, okay? For you right Seven. there. Okay, no, yeah, I, was yeah. just, I was going to run back to you, but... Holy crap, that is a serious drop, isn't it? Yep. Oh, wow, that looks stunning. Okay, Look at that. Ready? I'm ready, dude. All right, here I come. Come on, Tackle, you got this? There he goes. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we know who the best ATV driver is. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 I hit that bottom rock and it flung me off. Are you driving third person or first? I can't remember. You told me a while back. I was driving third. Third? Yeah. yeah. I like first person though. It's really nice. I do too. It feels good, but because uh, I'm always looking out for animals as well. When we're yeah. Close, yep. So third person's easier. Holy crap. This area looks amazing. Quattro Kalidas' road network contains large sections which were previously dirt tracks that were created to aid in the moving of marble from the quarry out to waiting barges on the river. During the Renaissance, marble was a highly sought after commodity, and the workforce here was massive. Look at that! Look at us learning about history! That is cool though, isn't it? That is Imagine weird. how many people would be mining something like this. I don't know if it's just me. I know you like it, like that history stuff too. But I wonder how many people watching this video right now is, it has that same kind of feel to it, you know? Yeah. You know how we drove through that section there? It was all dust and dust and stuff. You got to think that's where that marble, that, that hill came all the way out to that point. You can see where the yeah. grass starts up. That's where how big that was. They taken out half of that thing. And back then they wouldn't have anything like the machines we've got today. Right. So that's a feat in itself. All right, let's go find some animals and smack some stuff. You see that? What? Big house thingy, church. Oh my God. Yeah, I do. It's like something that Ezio would live in, isn't it? From Assassin's yeah. Creed. Right, so we've got to go out of this and then do a right all the way down, okay? Mm -hmm. On the road. Come here. Oh. Quick. Yeah? Quick, quick. I see oh, a DLC at... game code on this. Oh, you do? Oh. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a really beautiful map now. They down here, farther south we get, the more hills. I don't think they've ever made a map that isn't beautiful. Like all of it is. Nobody can argue that. The Apex engine just it just makes everything look incredible. Obviously, you're going to have your favorites, though. I don't think... Yeah, I still think... I, I thought Yukon topped Savannah for me, but no, it doesn't. Savannah's still my favorite. Then it's Yukon. I don't know, though, because I'm liking... This one's got some... Like, it's different, isn't it? I like when I'm, they're not the same as something else. Yeah, I'm starting to like this one quite a bit. It's uh, It's got a lot of that Fernando aspects, but it's a lot easier to terrain than Fernando mm -hmm. so far. Did you see those road there out next to you then? Yeah, yep. Oh, you saw them? I thought you played that cool. You didn't even react to them. Look at you. All right, what's this then? Is this going to tell us about... Oh, it's, the, it's about the uh, the hay bales and the fields and stuff. Right, these days, no farmers actually live on the reserve. Most of the owners actually live in this city and have hired farmhands to take care of most of the hard work. I doubt they would make a great deal of profit, but many of the current owners inherited the farms see it as a source of prestige. Okay. So there's no active farmers actually on these things and stuff. It's just, I own this land. Ooh. <laughs> That's all it is, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you were worried about me saying something about you there, wasn't you? That's why you were keeping quiet. I was waiting for you to fucking call me out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah, that's our land that's we talking just about you. Out, right? <laughs> just lease it out. We gotta go off road here, right? Let's let's put the ATV to the test. I'm going through the sunflower fields. And we're going through whatever's behind that. Oh, I've just seen something. I wonder if I can be really cheeky and jump on my ATV. And smack that. I could have swore that I just saw something then. It went like that, this way. Oh, come on. We can do it. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the power of the ATV. Look at that. Almost vertical. My proud little donkey making it up the hill. Where's the where's the building gone? There's another point of interest here. Let's see what this is. If it's a point of interest or if it's a stand. Oh, are point we in of the wrong here. spot? Oh, we're on the wrong hill. <laughs> We've gone we to are, the wrong hill. Here's a point of interest. Oh, we can pick up. Right, let's see what this one says. The Civil War was a dark period for all of Spain, and that includes my family. One night, a small militia broke into the Castillo with the intention of killing or capturing my great-grandfather and his family. He grabbed his rifle to defend the house, but fortunately, my great-grandmother was able to convince him to hide up here in the cloister. 
if anybody watching this video knows what a cloister is, right. please let us know in the comments because we have no idea. Unless it's like a I, tower or something. Or... Yeah, I was going to say because there is a tower to it. Mm -hmm. um, unless it's another word for attic, but I've never heard the word cloister before. No idea. We know everybody's Googling it right now. <laughs> I was saying that. And then the, the Castillo. I don't know what that is because it's uh, it's capitalized, so it's a proper noun. You know? Taco, let's go and take a look at the cloister. Let's go. All right, here we go, Taco. Moment of truth. We're going to find out what the cloister is. And what the, what was it? The Castillo? The Castillo, yep. I'm, I'm guessing Castillo. That just reminds me of like Casa or Castle. Like, yeah, I think like it's at home. Castle. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at this. Right, I'm going to I'm gonna knock on and see if anyone knows anything about a Oh, there's bullet holes. Oh, look at this. Taco, look. See that? They look like you see they it? tried blowing out the lock, too. It's got a little bit of history, this place. Do a little bit of exploring, then. Can we not go through, like... No? Can we blow the lock off the door? Try it. Oh, could you imagine if that opened then? I mean, that's how I think th these formed. <laughs> these bullet holes. <laughs> you know what they would have used, though, Taco? Just so you know, because, like, I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to this stuff. They would have used, um... Some Crap. expert. <laughs> no, no, I, f I, f I forgot the name of it. Is it black powder guns? Oh, like muskets? The muskets, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Those ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they would have used black powder guns, Taco. Can we not look through these? Oh, devs, you've missed a massive trick with this. Right? You can spot animals using these. How cool would that be? Oh, look at this. It looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. Look, Helm's Deep. This place is that cool. music is really nice. Very soothing. Let's quickly check out the rest of this, see that we can't get inside of the building. And then once we're satisfied that we can't get in, then we'll uh, we'll check out the uh, the hills and stuff. Oh, we've got another door here, which looks like it's been barricaded. All right, I got a task. I got a task for somebody out what? there. If we can't find a way to get in or on top, you know how somebody did find a way to get out of the the new trophy the safari lodge? lodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Find us a way and show us. Yeah. <laughs> Taco set you all a challenge. You gotta find your way in. Look at this though, it looks like Helm's Deep. Like that bit over there, what we just stood on, mm -hmm. the sheer wall that it has. For those people that don't know what we're talking about, by the way, myself and Taco, we're massive Lord of the Rings fans. So, like when we reference stuff like that, if you have no idea what Helm's Deep is or anything like that, just ignore us. It's fine. We're just we're just being a couple of nerds. <laughs> All right, we've definitely confirmed that Spain has giants. Look where that keyhole is, <laughs> how high it is in the handle. <laughs> Wait, can you just stand next to it for reference? Yep. Oh, my God. It's above my head. <laughs> if I'm looking straight, it's above my head. <laughs> if there's any Spanish viewers, are you all massive or were you all massive? <laughs> We've all descended from giants. Right. So the toilet, What's that on the top the of the door? Though. What's that? Some kind of um, hieroglyphics or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Is that a horse? Uh, it's a horse on the bottom right, isn't it? Okay, something's eating men. Anyway, I can see that. So it's like dragons or something. Or... Yep. There's a horse on the bottom right. There's a serpent on the bottom left. What are these things, though? Could that be a clue to something coming to the game? The devs being sneaky again. Did you find any like codes anywhere? Because apparently there's a code left around here for. Uh... Yeah, we'll have to look through the windows, maybe. Oh, here we go. On the oh, look at this. Yeah, you can see into the courtyard and stuff. Oh, it's on the tree. I can see it. There it is. Yep, there's the code for a PC copy of Call of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> We're so cheesy, aren't we? It's not even funny. <laughs> We're so cheesy, but there you go, guys. There's a PC copy for Call of the Wild. Knock yourselves out. First come, first serve. You got it. Congratulations. Look what I found. Entrance. Let's go. Dude, turn your torch on. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the... Is this that dungeon that has the legendary DLC key? <laughs> legendary DLC... <laughs> Stop! Stop, we've got a roleplay. Is this, is this the dungeon that has the, uh, the legendary DLC code? I think it is. The Quattro Kalinas, let's find out. Maybe it means caves. A little bit Tunnels. scary, dude. Not this gonna is, lie. This is cool. I like this. What are, this is gonna take us up inside. 
Oh yeah. Oh, it actually is as well. I think this is leading out to the courtyard. This is cool though, isn't it? This is very, very cool. The fact that they've gone to the trouble of like design. I mean, obviously, it's got it's got to have something to to do with the storyline. But can we get in the cloister now? I think that might be the cloister, the 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 tunnels, maybe. Oh, I don't know. okay. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to look up cloister, what it means. It probably means something like uh, you know, closet or bathroom. Oh, we can go over Dude, here. Dude, what is this? I think this is where Mjolnir was forged. Hello. 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 I heard it. That's an echo. Echoes, dude. Crazy echoes. This is where the ring that rules them all, the one ring. <laughs> <laughs> How many Lord of the Rings references can we get in one episode? <laughs> That's what today's episode's about. <laughs> what? Just below that circle window up top there at the gable end. What is? A key code. For the DLC. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, yep. I see it now. Yep, yep. I see. It's, it's in the cement, isn't it? Yep. Yep. So that is the uh, the key code for the DLC. Yep. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Knock yourselves out, guys. <laughs> I love it. Like I don't know what to say after it. Just, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this place is cool, though. It is. It's very, very cool. We I love the fact that you can. We need to get a bunch of us in here, and we can have hold hold a wedding. <laughs> What? Who's getting married? Me and, we'll, marry me and Olaf. we'll marry Fisk off to someone. Yes, there we go. I like that. There we go. Yeah, nobody tell him, but we're All marrying right. Fisk off. 